Hello everyone, this is Dr. Indu. Today I'm going to talk about a very, very important complication occurring in diabetic patients, that is type 2 diabetic patients, hypoglycemia. What is hypoglycemia? Low blood sugar. And what is the commonest reason for develop a person developing low blood sugar? It's not diabetes, it is the drugs which we prescribe for diabetes. There are many group of drugs which we prescribe for diabetic management, one of them being sulfonylurea. And I feel the general public should be educated about the side effects of this group of drugs. Of course, even I prescribe a lot of sulfonylureas in my practice. What are the drugs in this group? Glibenclamide, glycoside and glimipiride. Nowadays, Glimipiride and glycoside are widely used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. But what are the dangers of these drugs? If for any reason the patient is not able to take his normal intake of food or if to, due to any reason his meal time is delayed, then there is a danger of developing low blood sugars. This is very common in geriatric patients. Smart patients monitor their sugar levels very regularly and when they realize that the sugar levels are dipping, immediately get in touch with their doctor. Some of the smart ones even stop the sulfonylurea and then get in touch with the doctor. But most of them are not smart. Especially geriatric patients who do not monitor their blood sugar levels regularly if due to any reason the intake of food reduces are a danger of developing very low blood sugar levels and below a critical level they cannot be revived at home they need hospitalization and most of the cases who are admitted in the hospital geriatric patients with low blood sugar is due to sulfonylurea so please remember sick day rules if you are having a sulfonylurea like a glycoside or a glimipiride in your prescription, monitor your sugar levels. And if for any reason you fall sick and you are not able to eat your normal food, then please stop your sulfonylurea immediately, monitor your sugar levels and get in touch with your doctor. This will prevent low blood sugars and help you to prevent hospitalizations. Thank you.